I am Steve Visco, the president here at C.H. Edwards. Today, joining us for our insurance tip of the day is author and friend, Louis Salzman. I'm pleased to welcome our guest, Louis Salzman. Lou is the owner of Salzman National Life Insurance Agency and dear friend of mine. I've personally been doing business with Lou for well over 30 years. Hard to believe I've been doing this for 30 years, I know. He is an expert in life insurance, annuities, disability, and now a published author. Lou has recently published Zephram's Journey with Dorg Ear Publishing. I'm pleased to have Lewis join us today and share his thoughts and, and ideas on his recently published novel. Please join me in welcoming Lou to our set. Woo! Welcome, Lou. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, Lou, tell me first, where did you get the idea for Zephram's Journey? Well, uh, it's a little bit of a crazy story. I was going, uh, I worked out of an office in Manhasset for a number of years, and I was driving around Great Neck in a terrible thunderstorm. And uh, suddenly I got this idea in my head kind of like my favorite singer who was Lucinda Williams wrote a song about having a scorpion in her brain. I thought of that at that moment. So it, I was looking for some way to get back into the creative world which I had left many years before. And after not being able to get rid of this idea for a few days, I said, well, I might as well sit down and write this. Great. So, right. so it just kind of popped in there and you couldn't get it out of your head. Why are you shouting at me? I'm just, just excited about it. It's such, a, <laughs> such an exciting thing. I've never had that happen. I've always wanted that creative juice to just you know jump into you. Yes, yes, and yes, just, yes. Yeah. So seriously, I um, wrote out about 15 pages mm -hmm. and uh, it took me a few hours. And then I decided to read over what I had written. Right. And it was horrible. <laughs> and it was an abomination. And so I said, okay, enough of this. So I, so I put, put it in the drawer of my desk and hoped it would go away. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it did not go away. Okay. So after about another month had gone by, the idea came back. Okay. And now the idea brought friends. Oh, okay, good. So, so it was destined. It just kept coming back to you. Well... You know, Albert Einstein, and I am certainly not comparing myself to Albert Einstein, <laughs> uh, in any manner, shape, or form. Uh, Albert Einstein would visualize his ideas. Mm -hmm. And I would actually lie down, close my eyes, and see things happening in my mind. Mm -hmm. And that's how the story kind of came together. Okay. And I would stop and start. I had no formal training since college, mm -hmm. and I'm embarrassed to say that's over 40 years ago. So I went very slowly, mm -hmm. and there were many missteps and things I threw out, and I went back and forth. Uh, but that visualization visualization approach, excuse me, uh, it really worked well and it uh, brought in other people as they were needed, they just appeared. <laughs> so it was almost like uh, like, a, like you saw a movie in your head, in your mind, like the book became a, a movie and you were actually just, you know, scripting it from that, from that I, from I, mean, yes, I was I was observing it. In fact, my younger son, Dan, um, asked it read the first 39 or 40 pages after I got into it and said, mm -hmm. where did this come from? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. <laughs> so, but, and, and in a way, I, I really don't know. Right. Uh, it's, you know, it's pure fiction. And, mm -hmm. like, like almost like a divine intervention, which is really uh, interesting. Your words, not mine. My words, yeah, my yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So, I mean, taking that into consideration, you know, it sounds like it was a long process. How long did it actually take you to write this, this piece? I'm embarrassed to admit. Uh, probably, you have to understand, we work. 
Right, right, full-time jobs doing other things. Yes, yes. And, and so I would spend weekends and mm -hmm. some yeah. nights. Right. And in the last couple of years, in a rush to finish it, I would spend more sense, spend some time during the day and try and uh, get to the point where it was ready to, at least to submit to people. Right, right. And again, not knowing the process, I, I had to learn everything right. from... And the hard way, by doing it, by, by the, learning it, by making mistakes and then correcting it. Yeah, when I submitted it, um, <coughs> excuse me, when I, I submitted it to some different people, it came back with thousands of mistakes. <laughs> oh, gosh. That, that has to be uh, smartening. <coughs> that, yes. Yeah. That's not really the word I would use. But, <laughs> Heartbreaking. <laughs> but that's, that's what it was. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, it's got to take a lot of perseverance to continue on with that process. I mean, uh, I give you a lot of credit for that. Thank you. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, somebody uh, said to me, I, I don't know if I could ever do that. I said, well, you could, you could probably do it, if, right. if, but you don't know what it's like until you do it. Sure. It, it's like walking a mile in my shoes. Sure. And, and so many other, every other author goes through the same thing. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I said every other author. Uh, you, you join that club now. That's but now, right. now that it's published, That's official, right. you join the club. That's right. <laughs> so I, I know there's a dedication in the book, and, I, and I've heard it's you know, very special to you. You want, you want to tell me a little bit about that dedication? Well, I, you know, people write out uh, dedications, and usually they're limited to two or three people, like husband, wife, children, right. sure. parents. But there were so many people that, uh, helped me out along the way mm -hmm. and supported me. Sure, along the journey. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, including you. You're in it. No, oh, thank you. Appreciate and it. And your lovely wife. What's your name again? Uh, Denise. <laughs> uh, and but seriously, today happens to be my mother's 91st birthday. Oh, congratulations! And Beautiful. thank you. And and um, she's first. And, and I, rightfully so. I yeah. And I desperately wanted to have this book in her hand sure. by this birthday. Oh, for sure, I can imagine. As long as she can, and now she has it, and right. she can hold on to it. Right. Plus, of course, my children and other members of my family and right. a few friends. Mm -hmm. So, um, and some others in California. Actually, there's 810 people on the list. <laughs> I've seen the dedication, it's yeah. long. <laughs> yeah, it's actually half of the book. <laughs> right, it's right. Of the, to, of, of the, uh, of the uh, how many, how many right. pages? Right, let's see. It's uh, 294 pages. There's 293 dedications. Yeah, that's right. And then the end. <laughs> and then the end, right. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's right. <laughs> hey, well, thanks for sharing your journey with us. You know, Zephram's Journey is now available at barnesandnoble.com, which I'm really excited about for you. It's also available on amazon.com, and it's available in paperback and, of course, the hard copy version. Uh, you can also, for your techies out there, you can see it and get it on Kindle and Nook Editions, which is super cool. I know the young folks love to do it in the, you know, technology version. Much of mouse. I know. Um, <laughs> and I'm really glad you just stopped along uh, to stop in and see us today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the time. Uh, I congratulate you on your Thank epic you. journey here. Thank and, you. of course, on Zephram's journey. We all look forward to uh, maybe a, a second Zephram's journey. Uh, that uh, remains to be seen. Okay. Uh, part two, as it would be. Well, I have something else, but I don't. It's not that, but okay. It could lend itself to something to come after. Oh, good. All right. Excellent. All right. Thanks again, Lou, for stopping in. It was good My seeing pleasure. you. Take care. Thanks. <laughs>
who sells newspapers in front of the office building in which she works. Mm -hmm. And the connection between the two that changes both of their lives forever. Right. And for the rest... For the rest, you got to buy the book. you got to buy the book. We're not giving any more away. That's it. <laughs> I just got my book in the mail yesterday, and I started reading it. I am halfway through the book. I am fascinated. I like that it has a lot of uh, points from Long Island. It mentions places in Manhattan, places that I've been to. So it makes me feel like I've been there. It's a great read. Uh, Lou Saltzman has written an incredible first book. I'd like to congratulate Lou on seeing his dream come to publication. The book was a fascinating read and the journey was amazing. I'm so glad that I could be part of it with you, Lou. Best of luck.